General Douglas MacArthur once gave a speech saying, duty, honor, country. These three hallowed words reverently dictate what you ought to be, what you can be, what you will be. They are your rallying points to build courage when courage seems to fail, to regain faith when there seems to be little cause for faith, to create hope when hope becomes forlorn. In his speech, General MacArthur used those three words to stir within the hearts of those present at West Point that day the need for having resolve and purpose as American soldiers. When looking through Proverbs chapter 25, I come to verse 28, and I'm reminded that I am a soldier for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and that those three words, duty, honor, and country, apply to me as well. Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 28 says this, He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Many people, Christians included, wander through life having no character or integrity, or as the Bible phrases it, no rule over the spirit. This causes a vulnerability to an individual that allows for an overindulgence of the desires of the flesh, catering to laziness, a lack of ability to ward off temptation, and many other dangers posed to the Christian life. In thinking of this verse in the words duty, honor, country, we all have the duty as Christians to maintain the highest standard of living so as to exalt and honor our Heavenly Father and bring glory to the kingdom of God or our homeland heaven. I suppose the question is this then, will we as the children of God have rule over our own spirit and suppress our own selfish will, appetites, and passions for the cause of Christ? Or will we allow our life to be like as a city that is broken down and without walls, exposed and vulnerable to the onslaught and opposition of Christianity, and allowing ourselves to be carried away with every wind of doctrine or desire of the lustful appetites of the flesh? I submit to you today that what made this nation a great nation is that there were men and women, in spite of their own shortcomings, they purposed to take a stand against the evil of this world and prevailed to give us freedom and liberty. So will we today purpose and allow God to direct us as we crucify the flesh daily and live under righteousness?